The Echelon 1 study is a phase 3 randomized clinical study comparing standard ABVD um, with brentuximab vidotin plus AVD in classical Hodgkin's lymphoma. This study um, is one of the largest studies that has been performed in America and Europe in, in Hodgkin's lymphoma and importantly has shown a benefit in terms of progression-free survival for patients who receive brentuximab vidotin AVD compared to ABVD. This benefit uh, was approximately 5% and it's important to note that patients who received ABVD by and large did very well. If brentuximab vidotin is approved by the FDA for uh, in combination with AVD, I think it will be very critical in the future to identify patients who are most likely to benefit. It's difficult to recommend a therapy with a slightly higher toxicity profile, particularly when you consider neutropenia and the cost of therapy to all patients with classical Hodgkin's lymphoma when the outcome with ABBD overall has been very good. That being said, um, this study showed no subset population um, that benefited from brentuximab vidotin over another subset population. So in the end, ultimately, this is a patient-by-patient -patient decision, and certainly side effect profiles must be considered. For example, patients with uh, neuropathy entering treatment or patients who are at risk for febrile neutropenia may need to weigh the risks and benefits of uh, brentuximab vidotin in this setting as opposed to traditional ABVD. Additionally, um, risk-adapted therapies um, continue to evolve and may be considered for patients with ABVD as well, which may allow physicians uh, a, yet another option in the frontline therapy of classical Hodgkin's lymphoma. Currently, um, I would consider brentuximab vidotin AVD in this population of patients with advanced stage disease, but only after a third discussion and uh, I, I, uh, both the risks and the benefits um, of all therapies um, for these patients.